check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, everyone. How are you doing tonight? The Canucks win 2-1 to the Ferocious Coyotes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious. Let's go. We get the win tonight. Woo! Woo! Okay. A win's a win, and it counts, right? So I do want to ask a quick question before we start this stream, if I still have it. How many points do the Canucks need to clinch the Pacific Division title? Somebody post it in the comments. Welcome, everyone, to the channel. My name is Rev Trev. You're Adam Kempner Canucks. I do all kinds of content. I am the content maker. Um, I, I'm passionate. I'm realistic. I'm honest. Uh, if you like that kind of content, hit the like and subscribe, everyone. Follow on Facebook, X, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. I'd love the support, but it's great to see you all. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, let's talk about this game that Vancouver Canucks win 2-1 against Coyotes. Um, there's a lot to talk about, and there's a lot not to talk about. But we're going to get right into it, because I want to get to the comments of all of our awesome Canuck fans, and uh, so tonight, she loves is uh, in net. Juleson's a healthy scratch. Lindholm still injured. Freeman's playing on a uh, forward on the fourth line. Say what? Were they anticipating Zadorov was going to get knocked out of the game again? I'm not really sure. That was really weird. Just saying, we had more for more defensemen than we needed, and that was a little strange. If you ask me, that was strange. Okay, but the big question I want you to answer tonight, right now. And uh, we're 28. Oh, we got we got lots of people in here. 50 people in the stream. Okay, this is the big question. After tonight's game, are you feeling any more optimistic about the Canucks playoff chances, or do you just feel the same? So post it in the comments how you're feeling after the win tonight. Uh, something that happened was Zadorov was playing with Cole, and Big Z didn't get suspended. There was a lot of people that are wondering if Z Zadorov was going to get suspended after that five-minute major last night just because of the other hit against uh, Lucas Raymond that got him a suspension, and then another hit where a head goes into the glass. Thankfully, he wasn't. Thankfully, he wasn't. Now, so we I want you to dive into tonight's game, like the, the big question for tonight. Um, are you feeling any more optimistic about the Canucks playoff chances? you feel the same? But I also want to ask this question as a little bit of a slight. Because Oilers fans keep calling us frauds. But are the Edmonton Oilers the real frauds? Losing 5 nothing to Dallas. Take that, Oilers. Man, you guys suck. You're terrible. You're awful. What? You lose 5 nothing when you're trying to make the playoffs? You're trying to catch the Canucks? And you lose 5 nothing? Exactly, right? Sounds dumb when I say it. But you guys say it to us. Say that we're frauds. We're not the ones that have been... In the, the playoffs for a long time with McDavid, Dreisaitl, you know, all these stars. And uh, next thing you know, you can't win a cup in the longest of times. I mean, obviously, you've won cups compared to us. So granted, you got that. But think about it for a moment, everyone. Think about it. I think the Edmonton Oilers are the real frauds. And tonight, they proved it again. They proved it again. Now, I know it's just regular season. It doesn't matter. But hey, apparently... You guys can say that to us when we are in there. So, anyways, I want to just see if I can dive into some, some questions. Uh, Bradley, good to have you here. 
Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Oilers are bad guys. Our bad guys are bad. Oilers are bad. The Oilers are bad. Yeah, I'm telling them. I'm telling them, Junior. Oilers got oiled up. They got rolled up tonight, guys. They got rolled up. Okay, let's get into here. I don't. David W says I don't feel more optimistic about the Canucks' ability to win playoff games. They did, after all, barely beat the Yotes team that had already been eliminated from qualifying for a 2024 playoff spot. I I hear you. I hear you, bro. I absolutely hear you. Okay. Trev, when you speak of the Oilers and the supposed fans who call Canucks frauds, and now you want to call them that, please remember, what would <laughs> what would Jesus do? Turn the other cheek. Please stay classy. Thanks. <laughs> you know what? You're right, but at the end of the day, uh, can't we have some friendly banter? Can't we? Can't we have some friendly banter? Can't we just have a little bit of trash talk going either way? They can say whatever they want to us, and we got to take it. Come on, man. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Daniel says, "Don't think they played any better than last night, and they let the Coyotes hang around. Almost blew it in the third. That's true." We aren't sharper in the next. If we are not sharper in the next two, we'll lose both. Oil stat 14, 16, and five against playoff teams. Right? Right? In fact, before yesterday, they played 10 games in 18 days and then they got to go in the playoffs. So I don't know how they're going to be in the playoffs, everyone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Jaden, I, I agree with you. Um, Ab Adam Lee, good to have you in the stream here, bro. It's like beating up on your cousin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm missing tons of comments because I wanted to just I just wanted to get up here and get the whole I wanted to get the whole uh, slide in on the Oilers. And uh, yeah, let's let's get screw the Oilers, right? <laughs> uh, Caverly, good to see you. Playoffs ready, baby. Nothing says strong conductant contender like barely beating Arizona exactly exactly we got so much to rejoice about the rest of the season Jimmy says is the is the preseason for the playoffs that's right good good perspective what happened with New York today I, I don't oh yeah there was a big brawl the Islanders and the Devils had a line clearing brawl that was awesome Petey not shooting at the empty net says all we need to know about where he's at right now he's not goal hungry and it's frustrating great but at the end of the day, Curtis is right. Canucks win, Canucks win, Canucks win. What other fans are saying these things you accuse them of? Dude, go on Twitter. Go on X. Where do you get this from? Seriously, I'd love to know. Who, bro, you should you should see. Just go into my timeline. Check out my replies. <laughs> Others fan called the Canucks their next team, right? Yeah. Yeah, they call the Canucks their next team. <laughs> All right, Demko's coming back to the to Canucks in April. Well, it is April, bro. They're supposed to be, he's supposed to be ready for Saturday. He's on the trip, so we'll see if he plays on Saturday. If Arizona was a playoff team, Canucks would be in trouble. <laughs> okay, wondering what your first ideal matchup for the Canucks would be, sending well wishes from Montreal. Well, thank you. I'm glad to have you here, Jaden. It's good to have you here again. Um, my, I don't have an ideal first round matchup, but I think we're going to be end up playing LA personally. That's what I, who I think we'll end up playing. Um, I think my, our least ideal team to play would be Vegas. Um, but yeah, anyone like anyone other than Vegas really would be an ideal matchup for us. Um, that's just my opinion. So post what you think. So I'd rather the Oilers make a good cup run than the Leafs. Well, I, I would rather neither of them do that, okay? <laughs> I'd rather the Canucks. I'd rather the Canucks, but yes, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I actually don't mind the Oilers, and I don't mind the Leafs. They're okay in my books. They're not the best, but they're okay. Garland, unsung hero. Not tonight he wasn't. Not tonight. Okay, let's let's talk about the game now, okay? I'm going to backtrack, and then if I go, I'm going to go over some... More comments. If there's some from previously, I might jump in and, and jump and uh, go back. But let's talk about the first period tonight, everyone. So 
let's just be honest. The first period was absolutely boring. Was boring. Canucks outshot the Coyotes 7-3, and the biggest news is that there was one penalty each by each team, and nobody scored. Like, I don't know about you, but that was absolutely boring hockey. I was expecting more jump out of the Vancouver Canucks, and I didn't see it. So I was a little disappointed, to be honest with you. But going into the second period, the Canucks turned it on. Uh, they, they looked and were the better team. And can I just say something that Hughes is an absolute stud? Leading the league in D scoring. He's got 85 points. No, wait a minute. I think he got an assist on the second goal. Did he not? Yeah, I think he did. If he got an assist on the second goal, yes, of course he did. Because he got seven, he's got 70 assists now. 16 goals, 70 assists. He's at 86 points after tonight, everyone, leading the NHL in scoring. Oh, my goodness, he's fantastic. Now, Patterson gets leveled, and J.T. Miller answers the call, and then he falls because he didn't really throw a good punch. I wish he would just went in there, uh, fists a blazing, uh, but he kind of looked tentative, and it wasn't the greatest look for J.T., but like that he stood up for his teammate. Not that I think he should have fought um, – Fought him because I don't think a clean hit equals a fight. But that's what happened. It is what it is. And at least JT Miller did something. And uh, so, yeah. So we outshot uh, Arizona 16-4 to in the second. But how many of those shots were dangerous shots? I want to ask that question because, yeah, we outshot them. But a lot of our shots were weak tonight. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, you know, we look like the better team. We outshot them by a million, and we we went up one nothing. but it should be 3 nothing. Meanwhile, go to the third period. And you know what happens is uh, she loves is uh, some hat with some pressure, made a big save, but the story of, more about the Coyotes was they couldn't generate a shot on that kind of flurry of what happened. And then Keller scores with his body but didn't bring in the puck, so... There was no penalty, which I was totally surprised. So well done, refs, finally. I mean, but I thought, I think, it was, was it Susie that knocked him in? They were pretty mad at Susie tonight. And then Hughes gets a hooking penalty, but she loves is up to the task. And then I was just thinking, hey, you know, you mess around and you find out, guys. You just let them hang around, only up by one goal. Then Susie takes a penalty. And Arizona gets a power play goal. I think it was Gunther scored. And then I'm like, great, here we go. We're the better team. We're the better team. We're the playoff team, and we're letting them hang around. I was pretty ticked off, just saying. Just saying. Just saying, guys. I was pretty upset because I'm like, if we lose this game, our fan base is going to lose their minds because it's enough, right? So we're messing around, and we found out that they can tie up the game because they're a it's a league of parody, and it's a league where guys don't want to lose. And uh, here they are. Here they are. And then Hughes is magical. I don't know if this just in. Hughes is magical. Unbelievable. Guys, I'm in a Facebook group for Canucks fans. It's not mine. I, I, you can join mine, Kempner Canucks, right? Um. Kempner Canucks, and, and there's a chat that goes on uh, in, in this other one I'm in, and someone literally says, I don't know what all the hype is about Quinn Hughes. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I just explained to him why everyone's just so pumped about this guy. We drafted right. We He is unbelievably talented. Skating ability, A+. Plus, creates opportunities. Tonight he showed how great he was with the spins, with the skating, with the shot selection. And the one time he misses the net, Garland comes in is great, scores, making it 2-1 Vancouver with 151 remaining. And that's all she wrote, people. That's all she wrote. Has anyone answered this question yet? How many points do the Canucks need to clinch the Pacific Division title? Does anyone know that? Okay, let's dive into what everyone's been talking about. Okay. Uh, I don't, don't know. Okay. 
Uh, oh, yeah, right here. Caverly. I love this. Wait, 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 Kevin. Hughes is only okay. Trust me. I live in Edmonton. He's no Evan Bouchard. You know what? Evan Bouchard's really good. And that's the guy that I wanted us to draft. Now, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was so wrong. And guess what? The Oilers who say this are wrong. Because if memory serves me correctly, it was Oilers fans that were so angry that Hughes didn't drop to them at 10. I think that's where they were drafting. Wherever they were drafting, it was like 9 or 10. They wanted Hughes. They didn't get him. They got Bouchard. They should be very happy about Bouchard. He's good, but he's not great. He's not great, guys. He's not great like, like honestly, like in all honesty. He's got a whole bunch of assists, and I know most defensemen do, but how many times you just pass the puck to McDavid and he scores? Pass the puck to Dry Suttle and he scores. Like, he's good. He's good, but he's not as good as Hughes, right? Not as good as Hughes. So just got a message from Bradley, from uh, who's right here on, on my Facebook. Good to have you, buddy. Also, Camp Rogers Arena will be loud for round one. Absolutely, buddy. We It is going to be loud. We're going to be pumped. And if Demko can't go on Saturday, you got to play She Loves. I, I, I don't know. Do you? Do you play DeSmith? Do you play She Loves? Do you? I mean, obviously, he's Demko, but I, I don't know if they're going to play him. So. Yeah, Hughes had two penalties and two points, everyone. Uh, Roland says, anybody but OEL winning the cup. That's awesome. That's awesome. Callum, good to see you here, man. I wish the Canucks had special needs psycho like, oh, Rempe is awesome. Love, love, love him. Stuart, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the channel. Um. See, love won the game for us tonight, Japan. For you think? I think it was Hughes, but I mean, he was very good in goal too. So don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I want to give him credit. I'm calling this now. Gentle Giraffe is an actual Canucks player who comes on here with hilarious shots at teammates. That would be awesome if it was real. At least JT didn't get the instigator call. I agree. I agree. I thought he was too. Ooh. I like the, I like it, man. I love the French coming on in. They all laugh at their draft takes comments, but after wins in the locker room, <laughs> and he's asking for seven point nine million. JT Big Z Dakota prediction pain. Come on, come one, come all. That's right. That's right. Plus, it's gonna be awesome. Trev, your comment about not threatening shots or not th yeah non threatening shots are so accurate. Weak rest shots from the point. I, I agree, man. Now, granted, I wanted to full disclosure, Mr. Whale. Um, that was my friend Gary. Him and I were talking, and he was commenting to me that so I just had to put in his comment uh into the show. So thank you, Gary, for that. Uh Hughes, the engine, uh puts uh his plus minus game changer. Yeah, he he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable, man. It's a game changer. I feel like uh, Shelaz has shown that he should be our backup next year, but I love DeSmith. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. He's going to be the goalie of the future for us, and Tola Poli or whatever his name is, uh, he's very good as well. I, I think our goaltending situation is awesome. I will have a hilarious new pick next stream for you. Okay, okay. Oh, gentle giraffe. When I get my 7.9, I'm going to take Heronic for dinner. <laughs> that is awesome, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. Makes me laugh every time. Okay. Uh, Genther, Canucks should have kept the trade. Yes, I know, bro. I know. Well, we got Garland out of the deal. We got Garland out of the deal. But, yeah, it was that was a bad one. He's got to be an Oilers fan. That's Harpoon Whale. <laughs> Okay, Quinn Hughes might be the best Canuck in history. Holy man. Jaden, go watch my top 10 defensemen, Canuck defensemen of all time. You will, people criticize me for putting Hughes number one. Go watch it. Go watch it. You'll be shocked who I've gotten there. But yeah, he could be the best, he could be the best Canuck ever. We'll see. We had 10 high danger shots. Coyotes had eight. Wow. 
Thank you, Detroit. What does that mean? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Um, Callum, Huggy wouldn't have looked out of place in Blades of Glory tonight. <laughs> Uh, I answered your question quite some time ago. Ten points needed to clutch. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So now it's eight, right? Is it an eight now? This guy got paid $100 cash to, in jail to tattoo that. Look at the detail. I can't see it. Is it a whale? It must be. The veins and the hair wings. I don't know. I'd rather we'd pay him for him than to Smith. No. Yeah. You know what? Uh, well, even play or pay him, Jaden. At least in the playoffs, the officials are supposed to be better. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Ricky. <laughs> I hope. I hope you're right. Uh, Canucks are playing like garbage. Getting anywhere with Limpy. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> Bouchard is up and coming. He has a chance to be great, though. Great shot, and when he's on, he plays well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love, there's a lot to love about Bruchard. The last time I was this excited about a player like Hughes was when Linden was in his prime. It's possible Hughes has just become my all-time favorite Canuck. Nice. That's awesome, man. Trev, how long do you think Hironic's beard is? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. A foot? Are you going to the playoff games? No, I have. I'm not at this stage. I don't have any tickets for the playoffs. Uh, prices are astronomical, but uh, I have no plans yet. Rogers is going to be loud for both playoff games. I hope I'm wrong. Unless they play better, I won't be. What? We're not getting swept, Caverly. Yet out of this stupid negative Nelly, we're getting swept. Crap. Okay. Listen, that's garbage. As a friend, I'm just speaking truth to you. Stop. <laughs> we're not going. First of all, we're not losing the first round. Second of all, well, so first of all, we're not getting swept. Second of all, we're not losing the first round. That's my that's my prediction. Okay. I bought tickets for the very first game in the playoffs with my brother. First ever game I'm going to. Can't wait. Oh, Jaden, that's awesome, man. I hope you have a great time and I hope we win 8-1. Hughes and Garland won us that game. Yeah, you you might be right. Myers won the game, saving a potential goal. <laughs> Starting to think Gran Granlin, Garland is our new Alex Burrows. Granlin's gone. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say, Sarfi. Uh, yeah, stream they won. JS. Good to see you. Go Canucks, go. Good to have you here. Hughes played great as well, but uh, she loves made some huge saves tonight, and the D left him hanging sometimes. Yeah, I, I don't rag. I got your back, bro. I got your back. Quinn for a Norris. Yep, for Norris Trophy. Absolutely, buddy. I can't grow a beard. Me neither. <laughs> Jeremy, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Uh, guys, if you're new, hit the like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. Jer, you're a good friend of mine. Glad to have you here, my friend. Hope you're doing awesome, buddy. Nice hat. Do you think... <laughs> Thank you, Clifford. Do you think Hughes finishes... First in D-man points, then how bad will it be when he gets passed over for the Norris? Um, yeah, it's not only about points. So we know that. I think Makar is is up there, if not the favorite at the moment. But I think if, if Hughes has a good, strong last six games, um, I think he could he could he could win it this year. I'm just saying that. Just, just saying. So Brian, good to have you. Uh, Myers has been playing great. No wonder Tockett loves him. I, I thought he played good tonight. Loved how Tockett said how much Hughes wants to play in the postseason. Here we go. This is his time. Yeah, I mean, and right. The, the, people keep saying the reason why Vancouver is not going to go far in the playoffs because they don't have any playoff experience. But you can't, you can't 
um, you can't discredit heart and being hungry. Like, there's something about, there's only one way to get playoff experience, and that's by making the playoffs. So here we are. And I think we're going to make the playoffs for a lot of years to come. So this is all gravy, but I think that Hughes and, and some of these guys are going to be pumped to be there. Not everyone's pumped to be in the playoffs, but I read Hughes versus Chuck North. <laughs> Say no to drugs, bro. <laughs> Andy, first time on the stream. Welcome. Good to have you, Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg. Um, my good buddy told me about you. If you could add any player to the Canucks roster for the playoffs besides McDavid, who would you add? Uh, any player. I mean, Crosby, um, McKinnon. <laughs> um, I think defensively we're fine, but Hedman would be great. <laughs> um, you know who I wouldn't add? Darnell Nurse. That's who I wouldn't add. You know who else I wouldn't add? I wouldn't add, um, you know what? I just thought of, you know, it'd be fun. You know, it'd be fun, but he would never get played. Kuzmenko. That's, that'd be awesome. Um, Gensel. Uh, <laughs> there's all kinds of players, Pasternak, but no. But uh, in, in all honesty, I really like this team. I like how it's constructed. Um, I think we have a chance to make some noise. So, that's not just trying to be biased. I, I just watching this team all year. I know that we haven't played good lately. And I, I understand that's concerning. I get that. But here's the thing. I think we get our, our stuff together and Demko's a difference maker. And once he's back and if he's healthy, we have every chance to win rounds as anyone else. That's just a fact. He's that good. He's the difference maker. So that's the only player that I want to really add to this team. It's just to have a healthy Demko. And if we can get bubble playoff Demko, we're going to be lights out good. I'm just saying that. Yeah, Fields, it, Baines didn't play good. Yeah, I know. I, I don't think it's going to ruin him, but he he had to play a much better. Gentle Giraffe is always, it's always great having him on the street. He's so funny, man. I'm with you. I want the Canucks to win against LA Kings coming up. I do too. I do too. Any combination that adds up to nine points will seal the division. So four wins and an overtime loss would seal it. Two losses by the Oilers and two wins by the Canucks and an OT loss, etc. Okay. And so that, that game on the 13th is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. By the way, I have two massive birthday parties for the 13th. And uh, I can't miss either one of them. <laughs> One's my mother, <laughs> and the other one's a really close friend of mine here in town, and I just can't miss it. So I don't even know if I'm gonna. I got a stream that night, but I I don't. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be able to watch the game. That's the only thing. Quinn Hughes will be one of the best NHLs ever, let alone cannot. Yeah, best skater in the league. I don't know. I hope you're right. I'm not sure if that's the case. I mean, there's been a lot of great defensemen like Bobby Orr, Nicholas Lidstrom. Like I mean. Even Eric Carlson's been fantastic over the years, right? 1999, Adrian Coyne got 23 goals. He got it versus Anaheim. And I was there at GM Place. That's cool, Lyndon. Gentle Giraffe. I had a mouthful of Hronix beer at 30 practice. It tasted like some exotic brown candy. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Callum, I still really believe PD needed to get rocked as a wake, wake up call. You're the one who said that someone should push him into to the ocean by Stanley Park, wake him up. So maybe that's going to wake him up. 500 ticket. No way. I know. I know it's expensive, bro. Or an oil or a lo, oil logo. I, I can't see it. So yeah. E3 Canada. Jer oh, Hey. Got another one here for the for on YouTube as well. Jeremy, good to have you. <laughs> have you back. You were just here. <laughs> uh yeah. 100 percent PD getting caught up with his head down, but it will wake up his butt. Yeah, dingbat, you're right. You're right, man. I don't we all, man. We all want the Canucks to make the Stanley Cup finals for sure. To Jaden Baines claim about having wanted to know whether Kempner Canucks will go. See in person one or more playoff games. I don't see myself going to any, but I still want 
still watching multiple such games on. Yeah, yeah, you're a big fan of uh, Sportsnet, watching all the Canadian teams. So I never said sweat. I'm anticipating a broken pipe at Rogers, and we lose in five in some of the arena. Come on. Come on. When did you get your camp? I've had this for a really long time, actually. So when did I get it? I don't know. Sometime last year. Yeah. So I was thinking about buying Kempner Canucks merch, but I'm like, who's going to buy it? Would you guys buy? Like, I've got my logo that I could use. I've got some really cool ideas. I, I do I do graphics uh, for fun. I do tons of graphic designs. I would love to uh, produce some of that. I don't know. If you guys are interested, let me know. Let me know. If we play Nashville, we win in six. If we play in Vegas, we lose in seven. I thought we'd lose in five, Caverly. Silas, since the Oilers were getting shut out, I went to this guy's Oilers after dark channel where he was just goes off, goes uh, crazy about the Oilers. He was abs. I was absolutely trolling him tonight, and he was so mad. Oh, send me the link, bro. Send me the link. I would love to watch that. Um, Silas, if you follow me on X or um, Facebook or Instagram, send me a, a DM. And uh, with that, please. Okay. Uh, Kraken were eliminated tonight. Okay. His beard is better than pie. Yeah. Jason Strudrick have been certainly saying. Yeah, the, the Oilers had such a bad performance. 20, 20, 12 people, LA Kings. What I don't know. They had very little playoff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's no doubt about it. Um, Canucks playoff success depends on PD and Lindholm showing up. Hughes, Miller, Demko uh, will be going. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know. We. I mean, we need people to show up. We need Mikheyev to do something. Like tonight, he should have scored. Didn't. Over and over again. Um, we need Lindholm to produce. We need Pedersen to produce. We just need that. So Hughes, McCarr, Bouchard, Adam Fox from the Rangers, all front runners for the Norris Trophy this season. Yeah, you're right. McCarr is is at him. <laughs> New Canucks player will play their first game of the Canucks. In the... Yeah. But, I mean, we got we, – you think about Bluger, Stanley Cup champ, Cole, Stanley Cup champ, right? Um who else? I don't know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Yeah, I know. The, the, the Kraken were real. Like, I mean, they were a 100 point team last year, guys. But I said to everyone that they weren't going to make the playoffs. Okay, let add Ovi. That would be awesome. Yeah, this is, this is dreaming here, guys. But McCarr, McKinnon. Bruce Bujo for a coach? No, thanks. No, thanks. One of the Hughes brothers, but are they as great as his? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep going. Yeah, and isn't he tall, Callum? He is so tall, and he has a super hot fiance. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like it, in the last two face-offs with the empty net, if Lindholm was there, we'd probably get the empty netter. You're probably right. Bobby Orr and Lindstrom were different era. Lidstrom, not Lindstrom. Lidstrom, yeah. Uh, it's possible to get Orr point totals. Well, because he, he only played 10 seasons. His knees were so shot. Uh, watch Hughes skate. He's on another level. I think... I just don't think anyone's going to be better than Bobby R for a long time. So maybe, yeah. Um, if Petey goes on a huge tear the rest of the season, McDain deserves Christmas cards from the Knox fan base. <laughs> Bradley's going to buy it. So I'd rock a Rev Trev hat. You better autograph it. Oh, 
You know, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've been thinking about this. I am not an autograph guy. I am not an autograph guy. Like, I don't value autographs. Like, if you gave me something that was autographed by Pavel Burry, my favorite Canuck, I, it wouldn't have any more value to me. Now, how it holds value to everyone else. So I'm just not a big autograph guy. I, I don't even think, like, me giving you, like, I think it would go down in price if I autographed it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to shoot left-handed in practice so I can play with Ronick. <laughs> Callum, listen, first of all, dude, aren't you married? Second of all, that's hilarious. Because <laughs> your last two comments have been kind of like off the cuff here, bro. <laughs> I'm sure your wife wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Leaving for locked on? Come on. <laughs> yeah, Tockett won the cup with Pittsburgh, both as a player and an assistant coach. He's the right guy to get in. Yeah, I like I like him. Yeah, I'm skipping them because, listen, I do not want to, I, I have to make these streams so they're also uh, available for kids. And so that's why. So I'm. I'm choosing not to do that. I, I I'm not a guy who likes. I don't want. Uh, I don't want to read swearing on my thing. I don't. I try not to swear in life. Uh, I I I don't want. Uh, I don't want to do that. So yeah, I I don't do that. So, um, yeah. So I, I'll I'll skip them. I have no problem. Plus, I want to get through some of these too. So, uh, done. The Oilers after Dark Guy knows me too well, and I've been trolling him for a while, so it'll be a good for more Canuck fans to troll. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be trolling him, but... Yeah, I mean, we thought he would be, right, Caverly? Uh, obviously, he would have been. Uh, we just didn't pull the trigger. Luger, Cole, Stanley Cup, talk it. Yeah, Foot, Gonchar, all one cups. I know, but I was talking about players, guys. Yeah, he's six foot nine. He is <coughs> Topolio. Topolio? Is that how he's? I, don't, I can't remember how you say it. He's so good. You able to pull a, a breakdown of tonight's game stats? Who had the shots on golds? Plus, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that right now. What was the time in Arizona? I don't know if I have that. Let me just, let me bring it up here. Okay, let's share it. Okay, so let's go to box scores. Um, so love it that Lafferty had five hits, McKayev had four, Joshua had six, Pod Colson had five. I love it, guys. So if you go, actually, if you just go back here, just to recap real quick, look at this. Look at the 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 hits. This is a playoff team. Continually hits like this. I love that they had seventeen block shots. Um, we're going to try to sweep them next week. So this will be nice. But if we go back to the box scores, um, Lafferty only played, well, just played under, under 10 minutes. Amon played just under 10, but everyone else, I mean, what did, what did they put Freeman down here? Six minutes, guys, S almost seven minutes. That's all he played. One hit, nothing to show for it. Wow. That's bad. But he didn't get a lot of opportunity. So he he would have rather played Freeman over Baines for six minutes. Like, think about that. Yeah, so Hoaglander only played 15 minutes. I thought he would play a little bit more than that. But uh, JT Miller was in the box for five minutes for fighting. He played 18 Garland, almost 19. Besser, almost 18 and a half. Pedersen had the most minutes out of the forwards. Actually, did he have the most minutes out of everyone? No, Hughes just above him. So, yeah. So, let's see. Let's see. Where's the door off? Eight, oh, he almost got 19 minutes. Myers, that's shocking. He's been, he's been not doing that. So, yeah. So, I don't know if you want what you want more here. 
Uh, do you want the Coyote stuff? I don't really care about the Coyotes. Brian, look at that, eight minutes. So who, who had the most minutes? Huh. Not Keller, huh? Wow. Surprising. Surprising. Interesting. Absolutely interesting. All right. There you go. First lines. Hope that helps you. Hope that helps you, bro. Uh, let's see. Where am I now? Gentle draft. I'm tall like a ladder. You need to climb up to get to the top. <laughs> Right? Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna easily become the highest scoring Canuck. Uh, so do it, autograph it. I have tons of autographs by Canucks players over the years. All right, all right. If I end up doing merch, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it just for you. Feel like I'm getting left out and profiled because I have no idea, dude, what that is, uh, and I don't really care. <laughs> I never swear. <laughs> oh, just right. I like bugging you, man. Thank you for these post-game live streams. Thank you. I appreciate that. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. But I'm leaving on a road trip tomorrow to Cleveland to chase the total solar eclipse. That's cool. Be back in 10 days. We'll be watching games en route. And so you'll be back for the playoffs then. So that's good. That's good. If you were to put to Linden, best of luck from Rev Trev, a.k.a. Kempner Canucks. Go Canucks, go. I would wear it and put it on my wall of hats on my, on my deer horns. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Um, maybe that's how I should sign it. If I do a signature, put Rev, Rev Trev. That's what I'll do. Hoaglander, four shots, 53. Why did I need to go there if you had it all the stats down? No shots? Are you serious? No shots by Petey. No, he had two shots. Had two shots in 22 minutes. Um, forgive me if I can't grow a playoff beard, but I'm going to glue some of Heronix on my face. <laughs> um, just have to wait for him to trim it. All right, everyone. It's been a blast tonight. I want to just go scroll up, back up to the top real quick. And very first person to make a comment was no it wasn't galactic it was the birthday boy curtis 6 36 p.m let's see if the canucks will turn it around and get a big win and he did much better than last night um junior says kuzmenko has 14 points in the last 20 games and if i'm correct oh i know i know man my friend Dylan scores on the Canucks. I love it, but I don't love it at the same time. Good kid, but wrong team. Dying minutes. Yes, I know. I know, bro. I know. You're right, Curtis. We almost lost it, but we didn't. Big win. I shouldn't say big win. I should say two-point win. Much better than last night, right? And uh, let, let's just go. Um, where am I here? Let's see if there's anything else. Where's my friend Jeff? He said he was coming tonight. Said he was coming to, to the channel. I'm going to message him and say, where were you? Where were you, Jeff? Caverly, you know the Jeff I'm talking about. You know the Jeff that I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Let's 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 get in here. Let's talk about the last couple things before we call it a night here, everyone. I want to remind us we're on a road trip. We lost 6-3 to Vegas. We've won. Oh, I have the wrong score. I That's when uh, last I updated it. We won 2-1 to the Coyotes, right? 2-1. And this Saturday, we play the LA Kings. What do you guys think the score is going to be? Post it in the comments. I'm going to say a 3-1 victory for Vancouver. And um, I like watching the NHL around the NHL scoreboard. I like watching the scoreboard um, because I love watching the Oilers lose 5 nothing because they're the real frauds. Just saying. Just needed that last uh, cheap shot in, everyone. Okay, we're going to get into some last-minute predictions. 
Let's see what you guys think. Um, yeah, Jeff is one of the best. One of the best. He said he was coming up into the stream tonight. Didn't Lyndon thinks we're going to win four or two. Um, Angelo, you said something positive about the Canucks. Six, two Canucks. That's awesome. Vancouver one, LA three. Oh my goodness. That's right. That was your prediction that we're going to lose. So you're sticking with it. Six, two Vancouver. I don't know. That's, that's pretty high scoring. That's great. Jeff is here. Jeff, welcome. So good to have you, my friend. Now I don't have to text you. I don't have to text you saying, where were you? That you broke your promise. <laughs> good news is it's more fun when we win, Jeff, in the stream. Just saying. So Stuart Baker says 4-2. Caverly's going with the same pick as me. 3-1. Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty loses one more tooth in the game. That's a good prediction. I mean, sad for him. Jeff, what are you predicting? Come on. You're here. Post in the comments. What do you think the score is going to be now? But now I want a free hat. <laughs> I know. When you, your wife would be like, hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> get your staff to, all these for Christmas. They're all the rave, bro. Yeah, see, everyone's happy you're here, man. Whether the Canucks will, before the season ends, beat a playoff caliber team still. Come on. David, stop being, like, neutral. And <laughs> do you think we're not going to beat a playoff team? We're playing. We're gonna beat LA on on Saturday. How's that? No, wait a minute. What did I predict? Let me just let me just see it. Four one LA. Oh my goodness. You oh ye of little faith. Oh ye of little faith. Well, that's fine. You're you're welcome to make. This is what I said. We're gonna beat LA. That's what I said. We're gonna lose to Vegas. I'm a, I'm two and zero right now, guys. Lose to Vegas. Win. Win, 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 overtime loss, win, loss. That's my predictions for the month. I say we're going five, two, and one. Yeah, so four, one, LA. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jeff? Like, why? Why? I like it though. I like it that you believe you you're gonna stick with your gun. Six three win. Clay would be sad for that comment, right? Right. All right, everyone, calling it a night. It's been forty seven minutes. So glad to have each one of you around. Pumped, pumped, pumped to, that you're here, and uh, looking forward to Saturday night and uh, the big win for Vancouver. Um, and I'll see you then. I also, I'm going to be making a rant video this week. So stay tuned to watch. I might even do it as a stream and then talk, use some comments, but I might just do a video instead and then just share it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's called Canuck Complaints and I'm going to rant guys. I'm going to rant. So just a heads up, just wanted to warn you before we started it. Okay. Just want to let you know. Um, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like and subscribe. And of course, always go Canucks. Go.